I feel like well, you're you- describing Hollywood. You know, you're describing the problems with Hollywood. In Hollywood, when you make it, like if you're you're in a movie and you're you're doing well, everybody loves you. Oh, Coffeezilla, come on through the red carpet. Let's go. Coffeezilla is hot now. We want to put him in this movie, and they want to put him on this show. We want to do this. And then when you're not, no one wants to talk to you. Doesn't that break you psychologically, though? Of course. That's why they're all crazy. <laughs> I mean, in, in Hollywood, it's even worse, right? Because you don't get to choose your own destiny. Like, you, you've you developed your own show, and you've created your own thing. You haven't been chosen. In Hollywood, the problem is you're being chosen for everything, so you're being cast in these things. So you have to deal with people that approve you or pick you. So you're formulating your personality based on whatever the zeitgeist is, whatever the ideology of most of the producers are. Like if all of Hollywood was right wing, right? If uh, all the producers and all the executives and all the studios were all very conservative and right wing, all actors would be conservative. They would all be pro-life. They would all be First Amendment, Second Amendment happy. They would all carry guns. They would all, it would be 100% compliance. The same way it is with left wing. They're not necessarily people that think that way. They think that way because that is the way to fit in and be successful. So you take people that already have this exorbitant need for attention, and then you bring them into an environment where they have to be chosen. So you have to figure out what gets me chosen. So you form your ideas and opinions based on what's going to be the most successful. It's a mating strategy. It, it's weird because the fact you need to be chosen sort of makes you play the same game that you don't like, which yeah. is you have to go to the power brokers and you have to suck up to them the same way people suck up to you when you're successful. You have to go suck up to the successful people. Yeah. And now you're playing the same game where you're going to the people who are the decision makers and you're trying to woo them and pretend you're their friend. That's why when That's those weird. people do make it and they do get pushed through that red carpet, come on through, Tom Cruise. They're all fucking crazy. And a lot of them treat other people like shit because they want to let you know that they're a part of the chosen class. So that's like this thing about certain celebrities being assholes to to regular people. Like, wh why do they treat people like that? Well, the same reason why royalty does it. You know, like when you see the queen, you're supposed to bow. Like, this is how it goes down. That's why they became the queen in the first place. That's why they became a star in the first place. Because they want to be that person that just gets fucking exorbitant amounts of love and attention. It's, it's And it's very unhealthy. And it's good, I think, that it's now becoming possible that you can be like a Mr. Beast or something and be yeah. like, not be in Hollywood. He's like yeah. in North Carolina or whatever. Yes. And he can just do his own thing. He can start his own. And he's as, he's as big of a brand as anybody. Yep. And it's like, it just doesn't matter. He's doing his, he doesn't have to like kind of play the same games. I think that is a, like... Some, sometimes I think changes in technology are like neutral, like it's like kind of like you win some, you lose some. I think that is a distinct change for the better, that we've kind of decentralized Hollywood a little bit. And it's like you can just start your own show. You're not. We talked about being subject to the gatekeepers, but even subject to that like kind of mentality of like everything's about success and fame. And yeah. That's the currency of Hollywood. But well, it's, it's also the motivation. Like, what is the motivation to do it in the first place? A lot of the people that are in Hollywood, their motivation is purely for attention. Their motivation is purely to become successful and famous. Whereas his motivation seems to be to have fun and to do things with the money that is actually altruistic and good and beneficial and, you know, charitable. He's a really good guy. Like That's one of the appeals. And also, there's no one, like, filtering him. That's who he is. That's that guy. He's very smart and very ambitious, but he's also not really money hungry, and he dumps most of the money back into the production of his show. He's legit. I mean, you know, I have a lot of um, a lot of people you meet behind the scenes, and they're like, they're different. You know, it's like yeah. the same guy you meet, and that's always a huge letdown. I've had so many ex examples of that, but like, but he was one of the first, like, not first, but there are a lot of guys, but the big, the biggest stars, I guess. Are the ones that are most like you're like ah you're a bit different, but he was like when I when I met him we talked a bit and it's just like dude this guy's legit like he's yeah. he's the real deal yeah he's that is who you get the the guy that you see that when he's doing those videos with his friends joking around and making them do stunts and pranks and all the different little games that he comes up with for where people can win money that's really who he is 
YouTube's lucky because it could be anybody. Like they don't select who is like on top, and they're fortunate because it could just be like some like some super narcissistic like monster. I don't know if it would work. I, cause a super oh, you're narcissistic, saying it's selected for like yes. yeah, yeah. Because a super yeah. narcissistic monster, I don't think would create something that's re relatable. That's a good point. Yeah, could they get some? You had you had uh, there was this huge YouTube channel. I think they still might be the biggest, like T series or something. There's some random corporation. I I think there are ways to growth hack it maybe, but but you're right. You wouldn't create such a brand. Right. You couldn't fake it forever. You couldn't fake authenticity. I don't think you can. I think after a while it gets exposed and people realize you're full of shit. Yeah, the longer you talk, especially yeah, especially on the longer you if you're in little sound bites, you can pull it off for a little yeah. bit, but the longer you talk, the more it gets shown. Uh, unless you just have amazing stamina for bullshit. Have you ever talked to somebody like that? I I'm sure, right? Like there's statistically there has to be someone who came on the show and you're like, "Oh my gosh." Like after like an hour that they're full of shit? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, for sure. There's quite a few people that I talk to that are full of shit. And it's unfortunate. Like, sometimes people, like, you know, I've had people come on where I don't realize until, like, an hour and a half, two hours in. And then I start asking them certain questions, and then you realize, like, there's something fucking funny about your answers here. Like, this is not. And then we'll research them after the show. Like, oh, good Lord. <laughs> you know? <laughs> It's a, it's an issue, you know, it's like, and there's also people that just, you know, whatever their motivations are, they're not good. You know, like what, what, what is their motivation to do a show in the first place? Like, is their motivation just to try to make the most amount of money or are they trying to do a good show? Like if you're trying to do a good show and you keep working at it, it'll get better. Go watch my early shows. They fucking suck. You know, like you get better if you're actually just trying to do it and get better at it. But if your motivation is just to make money, like somewhere along the line, usually you slide off. I think most people who like want to make money just go into finance. Like, <laughs> yeah, but they also want attention. You know, they oh, want right. money they want and they want attention. And, and then once you've gotten the attention, that's the thing about fame, right? Like, if you go to a store and there's a security guard at that store, you don't think, look at this poor fuck. He's a security guard at a store. You just think he's a guy. Like, hey man, what's up? How you doing? You don't treat him badly. But if you go there and it's Will Smith, Will Smith has lost all his money. Now he's a security guard at the store. Look at this fucking loser. Let's go visit Will Smith. Ah! And you, you laugh at him. How much you make here, Will? What are you going to say?